Hi. Welcome guys, welcome back to my channel. Mama P is in the kitchen again today. And I will be making some fish tea soup. Nice. I know this is the summertime. A lot of people don't drink soup in the summer, but we like it. All right, so tell me, what's the ingredients? Okay, so here's my fish. I have some fish over here. Three pounds. Yeah, my pumpkin, carrots, celery, chocho, or uh, they call it chayote here in America, and my turnip. Here I have five cloves of garlic. I have a uh, corn, some yellow yam, Irish potato, scallion, I have green bananas, and I have uh, the fish soup, and I have the adobo, complete seasoning, some grace, fish seasoning, seasoning salt, and also I'm going to put a few dumplings in there for my daughter here. She loves dumplings. Okay, here I have the water boiling already, so I'm going to put in my five cloves of garlic. I'm just going to crush them and drop them in the water. Okay, so now the fish are already washed, so I'm gonna just toss them in the water. I'm going to cover that and let it boil for about five minutes. So here I'm going to dice up my vegetables for this soup. I'm not even gonna put them on the cutting board, I'm just doing them by hand. And the pumpkin is optional guys if you don't want to put pumpkin in your soup you don't have to put it in there but i like it with the, with, with the pumpkin because the pumpkin have a nice color and i like the blended color okay so now i'm gonna leave this for a few minutes so now i'm taking these fish out because i'm gonna debone them and put them right back in later because I don't want any bone in this soup, so that's why I do them like this. I just want us to eat comfortable. So now I'm going to put my, I'm going in with my vegetables. And I'm going to leave those to boil for about 15 minutes while I knead the flour. I'm going to put a pinch of salt in there. And she goes in slowly, that's why she adds, she doesn't just dump the whole thing in, she starts, you know, little by little, just to get the dumplings. You get the, the dough together, because mm -hmm. you don't want it too soft. Oh, so now I'm finished kneading my flour, I'm going to cover it up. Let it sit until when I put in all my provision. ingredients. You don't want any bone in your fish when you're drinking your soup. You just want to go ahead and just drink your soup without any bones. You can use other fish too. You don't have to use the, the fish head. But I like to use the fish head because the other fish have too much bones. And if you're going to do this and use the fish head, you want those big fish, not those tiny fish head. Big fish. Like this is a grouper head. So I'm just going to cut them in small pieces now. Let me get my knife. Okay, so now... I finished debone them so I'm gonna cut them in small pieces and just leave them until I'm ready to put them right back in my soup. I saw you smash a bunch of pumpkin. Why is that? Yes, to give the, the soup some color. So now I'm going to Cover this back and I'm going to peel my yam and potatoes and everything else to put in there. Alright, so I'll cover that back. 
Okay, so she's peeling the yam right now, and she has a side of water right here. The reason for that is because she doesn't want the yams to turn, um, to change any color. So that's why she has to cut it, and as soon soon put it right. See, put it right there. Look at that. You see the pumpkin? Yeah. And that's got a nice color. And this one, I'm going to put it in the pot with the skin. Why? For the high iron, to get the high iron from the banana skin. Yeah, this is cilantro, guys. This is optional. Some people don't like it, but I like it in my soup, so I put it in there. Too. And I forget to tell you about the butter. And you see she already had washed her um, green onions thyme and her scotch bonnet. And she has two pieces. Yeah, I just put them in here because I have It's them. whole, but you yeah. don't have to cut them. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the dumplings in the pot. Excuse my bird, he loves to make a lot of noise. For all those people out there who have a pet, you understand. Yeah, he loves to chirp. Cilantro, my butter. I'm using a pack and a half of fish noodles. I'm gonna go in with my scallion, my and my thyme. So I'm going to cover that for a little bit. I'll be back in another ten minutes. This is a mixture of all my powdered seasoning. I put a half teaspoon of each one of my seasoning in there. So now I am gonna go back in with my fish. Oh, that looks so good already and smell nice too. So the way I do it, when you finish, you can have some fish to eat and you can eat the food and drink the soup. Let me put a little more hot water in there. Oh, a little bit more at water. So I'm gonna leave that there for about five minutes and I'm gonna come back and taste it. Okay, I'm back. Back and eat, back and eat, back. Okay, so now I'm gonna taste my pot to see if it's okay. Okay, it 
okay now i could take a pinch of salt that looks like more than a pinch and i'm going to leave it there like for five minutes and then it will be ready and just to let you know guys you see how she tasted and that's why she added salt whenever you um about to taste your soup if it needs a little bit of more seasoning salt or salt or whatever you know you just season it to your liking all right five more minutes yes and it will be ready So there you have it guys, authentic Jamaican fish tea soup. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Thank you very much. Until next time.